treasure hunt in trouble, lad. You found it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new segment on my channel that I like to call Low Effort Gaming, which is just uh, gameplay commentary videos, that's all. Just uh, live gameplay commentaries. Uh, nothing fancy, nothing fancy at all. So uh, let's get into it. The uh, first one is going to be Halo Wars 3v3 on 14. I'm going to be trying to Elephant Rush with Captain Cutter. Previous uh, attempt to record this ended up with me getting ru not not rushed, just the uh, enemy team's brute chieftain literally just coming out of slip space, I guess, and uh, absolutely annihilating all of our bases when we were busy trying to fight up in the front. So uh, hopefully it doesn't go like that again, and uh, let's get started, yeah. gonna actually first thing I'm gonna do I learned this from last time it's just gonna build a turret because I, I can't have them scouting me and I can't have them rushing me either it was uh, very aggravating last time and uh, can you not steal my resources thanks I'll go steal his then if he wants to if he wants to be like that and if you didn't know these are worth about 30 each Okay, thank you, narrator. So yeah, they're gonna rush again. I'm gonna put a fire mortar on my turret and try to rush their base since they're not gonna be there. So they are not gonna be there. Actually, kind of good because they'll be over here dealing with both my turrets. I'll try to build a, a second one. Come on, come on, big boy, get in there. Come on, big boy. Come on, elephant AI, don't be so brain dead. There we go. That's good. Alright, I need it to park up in this corner. That would be op. Okay, well, I guess we're being trailed. Cool. I don't really care. Go away. Thank you. Thank you for exploding in a horrific death. Alright, so that's blue. He's coming to my base to rush me. But I'm gonna have two turrets set up and uh, flame mortars. As long as he doesn't spam vortex, I think we'll be good. I don't know what, what attack they were doing exactly, but uh, good for them, I guess. Hoping this elephant doesn't explode before it gets to their base. No, that's good actually, it's very good. Alright, let me get some flame mortars up because they're gonna be coming to my base. Oh no, they're they're switched to yellow's base instead. Have the uh, NPCs hold the line then. Yeah, good, this is exactly what you want to see when you're doing this thing. You do not want to see them have any sort of turrets at all or else your rush is not gonna work in the slightest. And I put it up in this top corner because the AI has trouble pathfinding me here. Let's plop, plop it down, start spitting out flamethrowers. Need to go check up here. He's probably, this Warthog's probably gonna die, but I don't, I don't care. He's, uh, not really that important. Oh, they have, uh, Marines from Red. Yeah, they got a prophet hanging out up here. I'll put him, put him here just for the vision. You guys uh, have some fun. Start making some carnage, etc. Get more supply pads since we don't need a barracks. I'm not gonna bother with upgrades. I don't think they're entirely necessary on infantry because they're just so disposable to begin with. It feels like an inopportune use of our resources. Excuse me if I'm talking a million miles per minute, too. I apologize. You know, I'm, ju I'm just in the mood to actually record things today for once. And, uh, I'm a little bit hyper in general, I guess. These guys destroy this first. I'm just going to keep pumping out flamethrowers because they're going to send in uh, infantry as retaliation anyway. Let me see what's happening with yellow. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? You, you actually... You actually killed him. Good job, Yellow. I'm gonna have to maybe 
D-bomb if he sends his chieftain back. If he sends his chieftain. Oh, they have flamethrowers. Cool. So yeah, that guy's gonna gonna die, but he was a waste of a population slot anyway. I wasn't gonna do any any hog play, any uh, warthog piggy piggy play. Oh, we need to get rid of that. That's not something we want. <laughs> I mean, sure we could hijack him, but I'd just rather not there be a factory there at all. The resource is kind of slow, but I'd rather focus on my uh, infantry right now. It's a good way to grind veteran C2 because uh, you get like a decent chunk of uh, decent chunk of XP from these buildings. He's coming to, coming back to yellow. He's either coming to my base or yellow. Uh, which uh, yeah, ye yellow. You still haven't done anything about these these guys. Yeah, this, yeah, he's coming back to yellow, probably. That's good. He, if he just ignores me entirely, I'd prefer that, actually. Local unit. And uh, let me get some heavy supply pads up in here. Turrets are fine. Everything's fine. Thank you for that, uh, AI companion. Actually healing me for once instead of, like, never using your heal ring ever. That's cool. So he is. He's got a brute chopper hanging out at blue. I think that Spartan should make short, quick work of those uh, brutes. Did they? Did they say the enemy is making vultures? By the way, <laughs> we might be in a pickle if that's that's the case. Keep assuring these buildings for running up some XP. Okay, pull back, pull back over here. Try to. Get into the safety of, uh... Try to just stay in this top corner so we don't have to deal with this crap. I know they're, they're gonna come over here, though, but I'm gonna mack him. I'm gonna mack him. Oh, heavy units. That's good, actually. He's gonna send his tanks. I know, I'm gonna start smacking out some flamethrowers here. Have them target those jackals. Brutal, it's one of my Spartans dead. Doesn't matter, he doesn't have enough resources for cleansing beam right now anyway. And uh, blue should get here soon enough. He just got his upgrade. But that's actually terrible for fighting mass infantry <laughs> because it takes way too long. That's a good thing. And I think my Spartan should vet up from killing this guy. Keep pumping out flamethrowers. I would just target the enemy base, but I really want some of these guys to be vetted up. Prophet is dead. That's good. Thank you. That's good. Amen. Refund some of these guys and rebuy Spartans. Oh yeah, here we go. This is it. Now we're gaming. And this guy is uh, sort of just hanging out at this dude's base with his leader, but uh, that's fine. That's fine. Get another heavy. <laughs> All right, there we go. We need to get our army back up. That's good though. Blue is dead. I do not think he made any extra bases. Yeah, I'd really prefer if he just went up there with his tanks and, and uh, dealt with it. <laughs> okay, all right, random, uh, random dead flamethrower marine. You, uh, you walk up there, buddy. You would walk up there with those guys. Our ally is going to scout this location. 
No, I, I don't want you to scout. I want you to attack. I want you to maul it. I want you to like absolutely just rip these guys apart until they're uh, the little giblets on the floor. I'd really prefer if you did that. Bring the flamethrowers up there. I'll just keep pumping out flame flamers. All right, start chopping through this inventory. I don't think he's gonna rebuild his leader for a while. They they don't really like instantly try to rebuild their leader or anything. I've uh, figured out. Yeah, that's uh, that's blue blue brood dead. So that was a successful rush, unlike the last attempt. We'll just camp up here and grind better. See why not? Let uh, let blue tanks deal with that. Those buildings. Should I actually get a bear axe and upgrade? No, I need to get another, uh, need to like do something with this expo first. Get a turret. Then get a reactor, I'll, then I'll get a reactor, yeah. We're going, we're going. Purple's just gonna be left with this base down here and it, it's nothing but a, a resource expo, so I don't think they're gonna be doing anything, anything anytime soon. If, uh, Prophet comes back with a cleansing beam, which I know no he can't because his temple is dead. So uh, that's good. But I I debomb it anyway. I disruption bomb it anyway. You know, it's not really uh, not really much of a hoot. Not really much of a holler to me. Yeah, that's beautiful. Mm hmm. All those juicy juicy flamers. Uh, I feel very charitable, so I'm gonna heal and repair on this guy's tank. Uh, maybe it'll vet up. I know at least one of these will, will vet up whenever they go to uh, attack Red's base, which I'm gonna command them to do next. I'm hoping they don't have turrets here. I'm hoping they don't, but they might. I'm gonna send in this one guy. I'm gonna send in this one, one guy. And then put a bear axe there so I can uh, start upgrading the Spartans at least. Okay, that's that's rare actually. UNSC tends to have tends to have turrets. I'll send him up here. I think this game is almost in the bag though. Like they're not they're not going to be doing much. Yeah, very good use of your resources, Yellow. Thank you. Very good use of your resources. You know, just I don't know. Burn this. Yeah. I don't know how that works, but uh, you're doing it anyway. Good job. Thumbs up. You know, thumbs up from a uh, star, uh, star command or whatever, whatever the UNSC is. I don't know, <laughs> Buzz, Buzz Lightyear, <laughs> Buzz Lightyear, Star Command, yeah. Supply pad upgrade. Any any inf any infantry they send out through here is gonna like just get melted completely. Wow, very, very good use of resources, Red. You hijacked the worst vehicle in the game. Good job. Ah, <laughs> uh, bro, the AI in this game sometimes. There's some real, real, real intelligent creatures. They're real smart beings. Kind of like I'm a real smart being for not paying attention to this base that's sort of just growing out here. But, uh, you know, I'll send, I'll send some, uh, after I get my second upgrade for the, uh, Flamers. Whoa, excuse me. I'll send, uh, I'll send some flamers down there. Already got a veteran one, two veteran one flamers. And these guys sort of doing a, a conga line disco dance around this, this supply pad. Stop doing that. I'll make an advanced reactor up here. Try to get the, uh, third tier flamethrower upgrade, and that'll just... Swipe through infantry. I don't know. Flamethrowers are alright. They're like uh, tanks make them completely obsolete, yeah, but it's like improved. cool anyway. It's epic. He should hijack him. Yes, this is best situation possible. Yeah, red is red is done for already, bro. He's he's lost. All right, Napalm inherit, 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 adherent. Yeah.
adrenaline and that's going to be useful when I uh, bring these guys down to red base. Might as well just heal, heal them just, just for uh, bunnies. Yeah, I don't think they stand much of a chance. I'll, uh... Yeah, okay, so Prophet's down there hanging out near Red's house. So I'll just have, uh... Blue and whatever. I'll just have this, uh, get along gang. Get along gang, uh, mess with them. Oxide tank. Yeah, I never really see people upgrade flamers at all, but I... Uh, you know, it works. It works. And I'll get a heal rain on these guys. I really rather not, rather not have these died. Uh, let me see. I'll uh, hijack this vehicle. Hijack this one too. And this cobra. That's not cool. That's not very cool of you to do. Okay. Have 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 some chew on this a little. Yeah. You like that? Yeah, chew on that some, nerd. Have him hijack that too. Triple Cobra, why not? Plenty of moments. Oh, this is terrible. This is the worst case scenario. Well, I can't exactly do anything about that. I'd have to let my ally handle that, uh, that vulture. I think I can at least outrun him with the uh, adrenaline. Did he? Did he rebuild? Did he? Yeah, purple rebuilt his base. That's that's dumb. I'm just gonna have to get uh, put in the new blood. It is helpful, at least knowing that a single Mac blast can uh, just completely eviscerate a vulture, though. So I'll try to maybe upgrade it a little bit. I really don't want to mess with those vultures, so I'm just going to go down to this base and uh, get his leader temple. You know, at least I got my, my flamers upgraded. That's all that matters. You know. Yeah, he's going to have to deal with that. Uh, Blue's going to have to deal with that vulture. I'm not dealing with that. Oh yeah, look at that, that fat damage with these flamethrowers, that's beautiful. RPG ability. Might as well get these up to ODST, you know, why not? I think it should probably be Tech 4, though, not a Tech 3 upgrade, it's just a little bit too powerful to be Tech 3. Spicy nachos, alrighty. We got Blue's tanks down here. They're probably not gonna stay, but that's pretty cool anyway. Alright, so medic, yeah, I forgot. You need to do medic first. I don't know, like, even, even, when up, even with upgrades, Marines aren't particularly amazing. ODST are, like, on a whole different level, but Marines themselves are, uh, Pretty crappy, pretty not really the best outside of a 1v1. Because they just move so slow. And, you know, do and take so little damage. And he killed that prophet, so I'll go after the next purple base after I'm done with this. Shoot some rocket launchers into there, why not? Send him right over there. Get that ODST. Only like two two marine squads in there, but uh you know it's better than nothing. Or make some more in the meantime, yeah. That's a very generic quote, flamethrower man. Hey, anybody catch the news broadcasts? <laughs> yeah, anybody catch the uh, 
globalist brainwashing campaign? Yeah. Uh, normal stuff. Oh, hi. Oh, 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 wow, what is this? That's unusual. Uh, you never see them do, like, 50 ghosts like this unless they're doing specifically Rush or something. That's, that's weird. But I, I guess the, uh, the AI is, like, really desperate. So you see, these will magically transform right before your eyes. Okay, come on. Hurry up. Research ODST. Hurry up. Making me look like a... Okay. There we go. I'm not gonna bother Mac blasting their factory. I want them to grind that Earthsea off this. Bring these guys over here. These guys are gonna hop squabble and job over there, you know. Our allies, medium, turret. medium turret, why not? You know, just for our just lulls. As it seems. Rockets! Rocket launcher! Beam that guy, please. Give him the, uh, give him the funny. Yeah, all my supply pads are upgraded. I don't need you anymore, elephant. You served your purpose. Godspeed. But, 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 now we gotta go to red and kill his stuff. <laughs> That's... That is purple down, so that's pretty epic. I'm guessing they built a base down there then, because I have no idea, zero idea how the Marines would be able to get down there. So, uh, yeah, let me do defensive turrets. Why not? Spartan laser. Oh yeah, you need you need four. Yeah, see, that's that's how you properly scale. Upgrades, unlike ODST. And I think chaff pods to the Hornet should be a Tech 3 upgrade too. Like, I don't know why it needs to be Tech 4. It doesn't really do that much. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Mm. Roasted marshmallows. Mm -hmm. Toasty. I'll put this down on top of here for... Uh, Funny, funny moments. Oh, yeah, yeah, let me get that so I can get Spartan Laser. I usually prefer not to get the Spartan Lasers, though, because I'd rather hijack vehicles and then just straight up blow them up if you're using, you know, Spartans by themselves. You know. <laughs> Alright, well. Let's do that one. Let's do a thousand. I don't know, I feel like defense turret, I feel like elephant needs to be reworked, like make it a little bit more useful. Defense turret shouldn't be something that's only when you're locked down. It should have like more health, you know, like something, something. Give it some reason to exist. Wait, ho hold on, is yellow's main, yeah, yellow's main base is getting like uh, smacked up right now, but I think they'll be fine. <laughs> or, you know, I'll, I'll be there. Actually, actually, actually. What am I doing? I have ODST. Hotel jump, hotel jump, there we go. Here we go. You guys uh, have some fun. Hmm? Yeah, see they're having a, a hoot and a holler party and a half down here. Absolutely just wiping this red infantry off the map. Boosk. Yeah, uh, hijack the no health elephant. That's uh, that'll save you. Then it died anyway, so uh, that's that's pretty funny. All right, well. Uh, laser research. 
I'm really curious. I'm just gonna send my ODST down here. See, uh, see what's happening. Mm hmm. Uh, it should be the last guy. Should be the uh, last base. Should be the last base at least. Why does everything move faster than us? I don't know, because you're a man on two legs and there's like high powered. Okay, maybe the elephant isn't a good example. High powered <laughs> hydraulic vehicles. <laughs> now, before that becomes a problem. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just not dealing with that. Ooh. Ooh, did the video resolution just lower itself somehow? I feel like I just got hit with a flash grenade. Whoa, what? Spark? That's a spark on a ghost. Okay. Never see that happen. Alright, well. That was it. Uh, that was it, yeah. Thank you for watching my uh, first episode of Low Effort Gaming. I hope to do none of this in the future, and I did not enjoy this experience at all. I uh, appreciate, appreciate you guys watching, though. You know, for the five people who, who do. Not that numbers matter to me or anything, but, you know, you get the point. Just being a little bit, uh, just being a little bit hospitable. Alrighty, let's take a look at the stats, and I'll just uh, end the video here. Base score, 684. Bonus score. Total score. Second place. Excuse me? Second place to Anders when I did most of the work? Aw. Oh. Combat efficiency of 5, too. And I got... I got... Slightly less kills. Okay. Yeah, fine. Fine, Anders. You know, be the best leader. You know, I got all, all this fancy technologies research, too. Come on, man. It's not cool. All right, well, I'll uh, see you guys next time on a, a low-effort gaming.